How are you, Ayushi? I'm great, ma'am. How are you? I'm also good. So today I would like to talk to you. You are one of the top performers in best cadet competition here at RDC. So the nation wants to know more about you. So let's talk. So Kushi, what are you doing? Uh, Ma'am, I'm currently living in Bhopal with my family and I'm pursuing Bachelors of Technology in Electronics and Communication Engineering from Bhopal itself. You are doing BTAC and now you are here at RDC. I'm sure you must have done many games before reaching here. Yes, ma'am. I've done seven to eight camps before reaching. So, didn't you lose on that academic part? Ma'am, RDC was my dream when I was a JW Air Cadet. And at any cost, I was not ready to miss this opportunity. I have planned things beforehand. I have planned all my exams and everything. And not on the cost of my academics, I came to RDC after a proper planning and implementation. I'm sure when I'll go back, I'll be able to cover up whatever I lost. So, did you want to come to RDC as a best cadet only? Initially, ma'am, I was not aware that there is a best cadet competition also. But when my uh, Adam officer, who was the Kandajan commander last year, told me that the most amount of exposure is given to the PCs. And since I want to join as an officer in the armed forces, I assumed that best cadet is the best competition for me to come. I was not sure whether I'll become the best cadet of the directorate also, but in the process, I got to know that I'm capable of doing things which I was not aware of. So Ayushi, you did so many camps, there must have been screening going on in yes, every camp and you cleared every screening and finally you got a chance to represent your directorate here at RDC. So what qualities do you possess that you were chosen above others? Um, initially, I was, as I said, I was not aware that I possess those qualities. It's all in the procedure when you get to know yourself. That is also a very big benefit best cadet competition gave me. During my unit level, I was selected as the best cadet, performed in the written. So I got to know that I have the ability, like in the current affairs, to figure out the best option. That also requires some prerequisite knowledge. So that is the thing we talk about. Basically, you want to say that academically you are good and your IQ is high. Yeah. So where were you lacking that. in, if you talk about it? Uh, yeah, initially, hmm. I was uh, not able to figure out that how to study the current affairs as it is a very vast thing. Or for the whole year, you have to cover the current affairs. And as a BTEC student, I have never been into current affairs and all. So in the process, I have learned how to study the current affairs. So please share how, how did you study current affairs? Ma'am, current affairs, as we uh, know that newspaper reading and all is very important, but since six months had already passed and I have to cover January to June also, I began learning from July. Hmm. So for that, I referred to monthly videos on YouTube and also quizzes on Google. You just type the month hmm. and then start the quizzes. So Qu quizzes the related to the current affairs? Yeah, current affairs quizzes, monthly quizzes. That I did for January to June and from August I was following daily. So you are saying basically uh, YouTube videos and whatever uh, is available in yeah. web hmm. was of web a great is help? the best option for current affairs because you can purchase books also, monthly books. I hmm. would suggest anything that comes in a monthly form is the best. That's nice. So this is how you prepared your uh, current affairs. Yes, what about the interview and communication skills and group discussion? And communication skills, I would say I already possess a good communication skill. But in the interview, I got to know that you can go to different uh, companies or defense sector. So there is a slight difference in the way you answer your questions. So in the best cadet competition, I learned that how to inter get into an interview when an officer is interviewing you. When you are in a defense zone, then what all things are of more importance, like you must know about if you want to join the services that which services you want to join in why you want to join why you want to join so these kind of questions are uh, very regular and also these questions will help you in your ssb also and let me know what are your hobbies ayushi um, i'm in hobbies i write and rhyme about things that fascinate me since i read about partition and all so i have written compositions on that also i am a singer i'm not a trained vocalist but i sing i'm a trained dancer I have performed many dance forms and I have learned theatre also, so I love to do theatre. Oh, that's very nice. So you are quite creative and like uh, artist kind also. Yes, <laughs> I say that. I am a jack of all trades. <laughs> that's nice. And what would you do after your graduation? What have you decided? For now, ma'am, I am very sure that I want to join the Indian Air Force as a fighter pilot. 
and that's why I took uh, PCM in my 12th and doing uh, graduation in tech, uh, BTEC only. What motivated you to, you know, to be wanting to join armed forces, especially uh, Air Force? Hmm. Actually, I was a JW Air Cadet. So when I went to a 10-day CATC camp, it, it is the initial and basic camp for everybody. So there I saw the aircrafts, the air officers for the first time. And it was like ice candy to me because it was so, so, so inspiring to see them with their badges and the blue uniform. And that time only, Avni Chaturvedi, Bona Kanta and Bhavna Singh, they were the first female fighter pilots. And they were from my region only, neighboring region. So I was very proud of them. And I just wanted to be like them anyhow. And every time a news comes that Captain Abhilasha Barak is the first aviator in the Aviation Corps and Shubhangi Swaroop is the first pilot in the Navy. So when a lady becomes a pilot, it's really the best thing for, me, for my ears to hear. Ayushi, uh, do you think that uh, joining NCC was one of the best decisions of your life? Yes, ma'am. NCC is definitely the best decision of my life. We all do co-curricular, some like sports, some do clubbing and all. But NCC was the best co-curricular for me if I want to join the armed forces. Initially, I thought that I would just get a simple exposure, meet the officers. But in the process of RDC, I have learned that art of balance, that balance is everything if you want to join the forces. And that is only due to the best cadet competition and RDC. And NCC... I met so many officers and got their insight. So if you spend a lot of amount with the officers, just a simple time spending with the officers, you already develop your qualities. Such are the qualities, the high quality of our officers in the armed forces.